This is a Commodore 1541-2 floppy disk drive that I got off eBay. It's not in really bad condition, but you can see that it's almost as yellow as the table here. It seems to have a, uh, a foot missing as well, but I've tested it. It does appear to work. It's got one of these uh, uh, flight things in it, and you can see how yellow it is there. In fact, I got two, so I've got another one for comparison. That's more like the colour it's supposed to be, and even this one's a little bit yellowed. I'm probably going to retro bright this one um, as it seems it does work it's got these um, marks on the top I think this might come off it looks like something's been sat on top of it um, but other than that it should be able to get it back to looking nearly as good as new maybe without all this uh, uh, nasty yellowness I've never taken one of these apart before so here goes nothing attempted repair by unauthorized persons voids warranty well warranty's already been voided zero number 82,076. Made a lot of these. Well, Commodore made a lot of most things, actually. So, that bit can be uh, retrobite. You can see, get an idea of the um, colour that the case is supposed to be from the inside. It would have been more like that colour. Look at the uh, amount of scum. Scum in there. Quite a lot of scum, so I'll clean all that out as well. So, how does this bit come off? I think this just pulls off. Uh, yep. So that can get, yeah, you can see that the inside of that would have been different colour as well. Does this bit just come off now? Oh, yes it does. So, more screws by the looks of it. I am going to mark these connectors before I take them out so that I know where to put them back because I believe you can put them in the wrong way. There is the money shot. Where's the 6502? It's in there somewhere. 6502 AD. It's that one there. Awesome. So it is quite dusty. I'll probably spray contact cleaner into these connectors into the power switch. It looks like the same power switch that they put on the Commodore 64 itself, maybe. Look at that, it's got a little, got a bodge on it. Nice. Good old Commodore bodge. Probably a factory installed bodge. There you go. Yep, there's quite a bit of dust in there. So one of the things that happened last time when I retrobrated the other case is that these feet went really sticky and they just stayed sticky. Like if you put this thing down on a table, my Commodore 64 that is, it just sticks to the table. So this time, I'm probably gonna try and prise these feet off before I retrobrite it. There's the logo. And that is definitely hand scum next to the power switch, because you can see it's not next to any of the others. See if I can clean some of the crap out of here. That definitely worked, and it's definitely all over my desk and my keyboard. I'm going to clean the heads, or clean the head, because it's only got one, it's not double sided, and clean some more of this gunk out, clean these rails, and put some new lithium grease on this bit here. I've got some lithium grease that I use for my bike. Heads were pretty clean. Head. Head was pretty clean. <laughs> 
So now I've got to get just enough grease out of this tube just to grease this part up here and possibly this. See, that is a massive glob of grease. It's too much. Oh, I'm just throwing it on the floor. Ugh. Right, let's try that again. Ultra small bit of grease. So that is all good. I'll stick that to one side. Got a date on it? 5290, 50 second week 1990. This is a 30 year old drive as of today. And there's quite a lot of dust and crap down in there. So I'll get that out. Spray contact cleaner in these contact in these ports. More crap in there. So the case is all washed now, I just need to dry it. So I should be able to get all uh, four bits um, of it, including this. This is one of the four bits. Should be able to get all the bits in there in one go, hopefully. I mean, there's the three big bits are in there. I think that's good enough. So I'm just going to do them all at once. Right, so it's 24 hours later. Let's see if any of this actually worked. So I've washed off all the uh, hair developer, put both gloves on this time. Clever. And uh, just gonna dry them off. Looks like it hasn't worked properly on the top case, but I'll look at that in a minute. So I don't know if you can see that, but I've got this, uh, got this line going across here. I don't know how that happened. Some like the bag was lying on it weirdly or something like that. But apart from that, the whole, the rest of it looks way better. It looks like the bottom, the bottom case looks actually uh, looks actually quite good. Yeah, here's the back. 
So it looks way better. So the bottom's looking good, and front looks pretty good. It's a little bit yellow, but it's not super yellow. So the front looks okay, the button looks good. So the good news is, is that the bottom and the front and the bottom are okay. So I can reassemble the case in these. I could actually, if I want to, put this one back for another go, which might be worth doing actually, because I've come this far. So maybe this one, maybe this will just get rid of this line here. But other than that, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not in the best shape in the world anyway, because it's got these marks. But I think as soon as I've come this far, I mean, I could put it back together, see how it looks, and then um, could take just the top off and just do the top on its own, give it another pass, and it should look quite good. Either way, even with this line, it's going to look way better than it did before. It was like it's like smoke is yellow before. So let's see if I can remember how to put this thing uh, back together. Cue the music. <laughs> So there it is, the finished product. Well, almost finished. It's still got this like line on the top. But apart from that, I think it looks a hell of a lot better than it did. So uh, I'm reasonably pleased with that. Um, I can always just take the top off and just do that again at some point. But for now, that's not bad. And I can compare it to the other drive I've got. So if you remember previously, th this drive was super yellow and the one I put above it didn't look yellow and now this one looks worse. So it's it's clearly massively, yeah, look, that's the one I haven't done. So it's a huge improvement. I would say that's a success. And I think I won't maybe bother putting the feet back on because there's only three of them anyway, so it sits better on the table without them. Keep you notice the Commodore logo. I think someone's, like a kid's probably colored that in with felt tip pen or something. I don't know if that's right, but this one's not got anything, right, anything in it. I did rub that with alcohol, but it didn't come off. But yeah, um, I suppose uh, mostly a success. Right, because I know you want to see it, let's see if this thing works with an actual real Commodore 64. Well, it still boots. Let's see if Driller works. So far, so good. So there we go, it looks like it's still working. And there we go. 30 years later, works like a charm, although I've got no joystick plugged in. <laughs>